promptly. Doctors now have a new weapon in the fight against heartburn, acid reflux, and other diseases linked to the esophagus. It's a tiny device that is achieving huge results. With us is Dr. Kathy Bull Henry. She's a gastroenterologist at Georgetown University Hospital. Doctor, thank you for being here with us. And when we say a tiny device that's achieving huge results, we're talking tiny. Show us what this device is. Absolutely. This is very tiny. And that is a camera. This is a camera. It has two very small video cameras in each end. And these cameras take 14 pictures per second. So that as this travels through the esophagus, it is actually taking over 2,000 images of the esophagus in about a three to five minute period. What are these images of? What are you looking for with that pill camera? This, this pill is really a very simple, um, safe, less invasive way of looking at the esophagus. So we're able to see in patients who have very long-standing reflux, whether there's any damage from the contents of the stomach refluxing up into the esophagus. And um, because esophageal cancer is one of the fastest growing um, cancers in the United States, and reflux is thought to be part of, of that um, reason for that, um, this is a very important screening mm -hmm. option for um, looking for damage of the esophagus. Now, you were talking about something serious because we see all of these commercials on television, heartburn, acid reflux, and either an over-counter medication or something you can get for the doctor. But when you have to go to this extent, we're really talking about a serious, very serious condition that could even result in losing part of the esophagus? Well, I, you know, reflux is a very, very common um, disorder in the country. Over 15 million really? Americans suffer from reflux. And in some cases, it can lead to um, esophageal cancer. But for many patients, it is simply um, a disease that causes heartburn and a lot of discomfort. This is a, a, a very non-invasive way of screening patients for any damage that could occur could occur in the esophagus. And literally you swallow this and it moves through. Yes. Every patient who has acid reflux or the heartburn is a candidate for using this? Well, I think every patient is a candidate, but really it's, it is most effective in patients who have long-standing mm -hmm. um, heartburn. And only just heartburn, not other symptoms um, that might also um, be involved. Um, and this gives us a very clear way and a non-invasive way of looking at the esophagus. The pictures are absolutely clear. And um, with traditional endoscopy, which used to be our only method of, of really evaluating the lining of the esophagus, that requires sedation. Mm -hmm. It requires six to eight hours of fasting before the procedure. And it also requires a recovery time because of the sedation. Um, so you're not able to go about your regular routine afterwards and requires you to take a day off wow. from work. Um, with this pill, um, it's two hours of fasting. Um, you swallow the pill, which is painless, and um, you are immediately able to go on about your daily routine. There's no recovery time, no need to take a day off from work. And what happens to the pill after you're finished with the testing? Well, the pill is naturally expelled from the body, usually within 24 hours. It painlessly um, and naturally um, moves through the GI tract but with the natural contractions of the intestines. And most important, you as the doctor have the information you need to know to help the patient. Absolutely. Usually within minutes um, after the procedure is completed. Very good. Doctor, thank you very much for being here and showing us the pill can. Oh, you're very welcome. Go ahead. And just ahead on 9 News at 9 a.m.